Hi. Well, I've been to the, for the bike ride this morning. Beautiful day today. Oh, here's Harry. Harry, come and say hello. <clears throat> Harry's the little kitten. Well, he's not so little now. He's been with us. He's been eating us out of house and home. But, uh, have a look at my nose. We had an altercation yesterday. He didn't want to be cuddled, and I wanted to give him a cuddle, and he accidentally tried to get down. He back legged me, back clawed me, drew blood. Dear, oh dear. Come on, come say hello, come on. Come on. Come on, Harry. Come on. When we get round to it, we'll have another go at the mountain type of scene later. Come on, come on. Come on. There he is. There he is. There's our little Harry. Say hello to the camera, Harry. Yeah, I'm not shy really, am I? Oh, he's, he's growing lovely. He certainly uh, made himself at home here. He's on my lap now. I hope you like cats. Uh, there he is. He's on my lap now. He does like a cuddle. Yeah, he's looking at himself now. Yeah, see if we can carry on without jumping on my lap and trying to steal the brush. I have to come up here to oops, close zero. Okay, right, Harry, off you go. Go and find some, some something to destroy. Right, okay. Um, I'll wet the paper all over. Oh, I'm going to get my paints out. I had a bit of a mix day yesterday, I was going to do a third one and it, it went disastrously wrong. And so I, I tore it off the board and ripped it up in disgust. I should have taken my own advice and painted it on the other side or painted an acrylic over it. Still on the autumn theme, lovely uh, riding our bikes along the Wandle, the, the Wandle Valley this morning. Wandsworth is named after the River Wandle that flows through it. And it runs into the Thames, it's a lovely little river. Now I'm not sure if this is the hatred splits or not. I think it is, I'll change it to it. Okay, so I'll give it a bit of a wall with some sienna. Nice and loose. I'm going to put, put a beach or something along, along the bottom here. I love doing these. But they all turn out differently. Paints grey, ultramarine, bit of alizarin. Don't want this too dark. Really nice. Big cloud over the over the clouds behind. Going off into the distance, so let's put some of that in there. Right, that's quite quite pretty. <clears throat> On my cup of tea. I think Harry's gone down. Oh no, there he is. There he is, Harry. You know. He's very interested in the brushes, I think. Okay, so while that's uh, settling in, we'll put a bit of Red and a bit of sienna. It's 
Ooh, some colours are on here. And got some some nice darks on that horizon. Blue, red, burn umber. going on hell there. Oh, you climbed up my trousers, my jeans. Oops. Okay. Oh, that'll do. Well I would put a nice little Beach in there. Clean the brush out a bit. A bit of umber and a bit of light red going along here. Oh, climbing up my back now. I will put some darks on this, but keep some of it open, I'm scraping out a few rocks. Bit of shadow, hello. I'm not using any reference material for this, I'm just painting as it comes. Now this is a more solid land here now. Leave some unpainted bits. So, good darks in the foreground here. This is where we want to just lift out some. grasses and stuff but it's nice to leave some white just we could the paper all right okay uh, card might put an island in here somewhere but that's just As always, a little goes a long way. Get some dark on that horizon with the uh, right here anyway. Mm. 
Now, reds and umbers. This is where the height comes into its own. We're doing uh, what um, the, the rounds would do, but just using one brush rather than than a lot. That was some nice dark. So miss a bit of ultramarine. Then we'll let's get some shadow in. For it. Just a little bit of going down there. Right. A few whoops. I've done that, so I'll have to justify that, I think. Go this is somewhere else. So I'll do this island over here. So let's put in a bit of beach. stuff behind. A bit too solid there. See where it went wrong yesterday. Just a little bit of reflection on, on here. The rest will be too far away. Right, the while that's drying there, I'm going to put in a bit of detail in, in here, some dark greens, just to uh, highlight the rocks. Quite a thick paint on this. Careful that I don't turn it too muddy. No, I'll stay away from that, I think. <coughs> I'm waiting for that to dry off. Right. Some darker. Greys for some blue tints in, in, whoops, in there. Right, 
Got some shadow in where those trees are. Warm shadow. Okay. Just flicks for these. You don't want to put it all in, but just random. Oh, and that's quite an interesting little island. Uh, not much of it to do with the background. I've said it all really with this. Just a simple little painting, just to show how how easy this can be. Hold the rigor at the end so you get a sort of a more impression of sort of spontaneity about it. Now this is where we want to just put some, some, shed, some reflections in. Right, I'm going to let that go. Uh, it's a sort of uh, uh, bags of, Edward Weston would say, bags of damn all. There's a lot of it. Right, I've got a signature. I'll put a bird in the sky. We all like a bird in the sky, but but it fills a great space. Okay, let's uh, put that out and see what we've done. I think probably we get a bit dark in, in here. It's just a little bit too samey. Just a bit of the burnt umber and the light red. Just a thicker mix, a bit of blue in there. Another lake scene in autumn. All very simple. Copy it. Go yourselves if you're sort of intermediate or beginner. I've probably done that just a little bit too elaborate, but but try these things. They, they go very quickly, but don't overpaint them. Get it down in one go if you can. And then when it dries, you can go over it. That's that's quite quite that's worked there, didn't it yesterday? So it ended up with a, with a hissy fit. Right, okay, let's bring the camera around and then we'll we'll zoom in. Let's go to the far Right, that's the island. Very, very simply put in. Put a reflection in as well. But there's the broken water but shows the light of the sky. And then we come across to the autumn leaves. Impression of shorthand. 
and shadows, just a bit of grassy bank here with some autumn colours and then we'll go down to the foreground. Oh, there's lots of colour in it. And that's come out. So, so another autumn lake. Uh, I wonder if my camera's in the right position. I'm trying to find out how to straighten all this up. Oh, not going to happen, is it? Right. Okay, so there we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a go yourselves and leave a comment if you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.